Welcome back to Out of the Rough. Uh, today I'm joined by Ravi Patel. Ravi Patel is the president and CEO of Patel CFO Services. And Ravi comes to us at uh, 35 years of experience, uh, both in the financial and operational world. You also were a CFO, COO, C, uh, CEO mm -hmm. of many uh, what, mid size uh, companies in, in really diverse industries. Uh, welcome to the show. Well, thank you, Fred, for having me on. W what is it that, uh, that you do, Patel CFO Services? Well, Patel CFO Services provides outsourced consulting services for entrepreneurs that cannot afford or do not need a full-time chief financial officer. Uh, you know, I almost uh, liken it to uh, another opinion, an expert opinion, another set of eyes, another, another pair of hands to help analyze so much uh, with your business. Absolutely. It's, a, it's really a business mentor for entrepreneurs, and I've been focusing mostly on entrepreneurs because they are the ones that need a lot of help because they are not born being businessmen. They're great ideas and they become businessmen. Yeah, they're great tacticians, they're great salespeople, right. they're great uh, uh, engineers. Yes. They go to start a business and they don't know other aspects of the business. Well, let's talk about out of the rough. Yeah. And uh, how can business owners, how are they falling into the rough? How are they getting into the rough? Yeah, generally, and by the way, I love that uh, program name that you got. Generally, entrepreneurs can fall into the rough in three different major ways. One of them is when they start their business, they, as you said, have technical know-how or marketing know-how, but no financial, business, or compliance know-how. And sometimes they tend to ignore those things they don't know, and sometimes they get into trouble. Sometimes they don't know they don't know. Exactly. The second way they can get into trouble is because of their expertise they have, when the company starts to grow, they focus mostly on the product side, service side, or marketing side and they ignore the foundation that's required to sustain growth. So the internal organization is not developed and they don't focus on that. So when the orders start coming in, they have no way to keep up, account for the orders or the money or anything. And that's, uh, that's working on your business, not just in your business. That's exactly right. And then the third way, you know, the economy over the last three or four years has really not been doing well and entrepreneurs have to compete. Well, before, they used to be successful and cash was coming in and, the money's and coming all in. the inefficiencies were masked. Well, now they're coming out and they're realizing, realizing that cash flow is a major issue. It's amazing what uh, cash flow, when it's really good, can cover up a lot of problems. Exactly. Yeah. Out of the rough. How can we help entrepreneurs get out of the rough? Well, one of the major problems entrepreneurs have is they do not like to ask for help because it seems like it's a weakness. And my advice to entrepreneurs is ask for help when you need it, otherwise it becomes too late. The other thing they can do is to start building something what I call a mastermind group, which Napoleon Hill had, uh, really popularized, is to build a group or men of mentors or advisors then you can go to every time you get into the rough saying, how do I get out? Give me advice. You know, you mentioned something just that's huge and that is successful people want others to be successful. Exactly. And you can find a group of, uh, well, Provisors is one of the groups we belong to, and we all network yes. and help each other out. That's right. Um, informally. Um, but successful people want you to be successful. Absolutely. And in fact, that's the mission of Patel CFO Services, is to help entrepreneurs succeed. That's my three-letter mission. Yeah. Uh, another thing I advise entrepreneurs is educate. Continually educate yourself. Join peer groups like Provisors. Join other industry groups. Uh, learn about things in their industry and also learn about business management techniques and how to become a great leader. Yeah, uh, recently one of the things I've been telling um, myself and, and others in our organization is as soon as um, you know you know everything, you don't. Absolutely. Yeah. I think we end up learning until the day we die. Yeah. And that's a good attitude. And that's a quality of a, a wise individual. Yeah, yes. No, no doubt. I want to talk about one last thing. Uh, we only have a minute left. I love your blog. Right. I, I don't even want to call it the blog. I, you know, I call it, it's called Sea level Reflections. Yes. But it is a, um, your writings are, are brilliant. And if you need a shot in the arm and you want to get a flavor of a Patel CF, uh, CEO solutions, uh, services, go, go to the blog. Right. Well, the idea was I learned from a wise man that you don't really have to make your own mistakes to learn from them. Learn from other people's mistakes. And over the years, I admit, I've made mistakes. I've seen other people make mistakes. And I've captured all that lessons 
to be shared with entrepreneurs so they can be successful. And I keep those blog tips and keep, less than going. two minutes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they can read. They don't have a lot of time. And eventually, I hope to publish a book so that I can share all the lessons that I've learned with entrepreneurs and make them successful. I look forward to reading the book. Uh, I'm reading your blog now, and it's uh, those that want to reach the blog, they can go to your website. What they is can that? Go, uh, yeah, my website is www.patelcfoservices.com, and they will get a link to the uh, blog, as well as the articles are posted on my website. And your phone number? 818-642-6496. One more time. 818 642 6496. Thank you for coming in. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Ravi Patel, he's the president and CEO of Patel CFO Services. And uh, you're going to stay with us, and we're going to be joined uh, by Jillian, Jillian Stone. Jillian Stone is the executive director for the Michael Hofflin Foundation. We'll be right back.